So when you get your hands on some really fantastic seafood, I think it's best to keep the preparation as simple as possible. So today I'm gonna to show you how to salt bake a whole trout. And you could salt bake really whole any kind of skin on fish. And when you go to your fishmonger, what you wanna do is make sure that they've taken all the guts out. You saw how hard that was in the Rainbow Trout Ranch segment. And you also wanna make sure that they remove the gills. This is an extremely simple preparation, but what's really fun about it is it's visually super dramatic, and you're gonna see, because we're gonna kind of encase this fish in mounds of fluffy egg whites. And I'm also going to be making a beurre blanc, which is a very nice, simple, and acidic sauce that will go beautifully with this trout. So to start things off, first things first, I'm going to season this guy. Now you wanna be generous when you are seasoning the fish because it is going to steam essentially, which is an extremely gentle way of cooking, but we're not gonna be adding any other flavorings to the inside of the fish. So you wanna make sure that it's good and salty and then give it a nice dose of pepper. And now some lemon. And I have a whole bunch of fresh herbs, sage, parsley, thyme. I'm just gonna kind of put these into the cavity. So I'm gonna set this aside, and now I'm just gonna make that meringue. And you probably already know how to do this. All you do is whip up a whole bunch of egg whites. And the trick for making sure that you get mounds of beautiful egg whites is that you can't get a single drop of the yolk into the white mixture. All right, I'm gonna do probably eight of these guys. It's a large trout, so I wanna make sure that I have enough meringue to cover them up. Now you just want to whip till stiff peaks form. We have reached stiff peaks. Now I have about a cup, cup and a half of salt. I'm going to fold this into the egg whites. Make sure that the salt is thoroughly combined, but you don't deflate all those pillowy egg whites. On a large rimmed baking sheet, just spread out one layer about the size of your fish. So essentially what we're going to do is encase this little guy in this meringue. So there's our first layer. Now I'm gonna transfer the fish over carefully so all of the stuffing ingredients don't fall out. Mound all of that meringue on top and just spread it around. So the trick is to make sure that the edges where you kind of bring all of the meringue up, that there aren't any holes because then the steam will escape. You don't want that to happen. I have my oven at 425 and I'm gonna bake this until it is thoroughly golden and it's going to just form this beautiful crust. As far as the length of time, it really depends on the fish. This is probably gonna bake for 45 minutes or so, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it and just wait until you see it when it comes out of the oven. Okay, so I'm now going to make a beurre blanc, which is an incredibly simple sauce that is very classic. And all it is is wine, shallots, butter, salt, and pepper. So I'm gonna start off with some white wine. I'm using a Chardonnay from Les Bourgeois, which is located just west of Columbia here in Missouri. Chardonnay is a hybrid grape. A lot of the grapes that grow well here in our climate are hybrids and crosses between vinifera, which are native European grapes, and then also native American grapes that do well in our climate. So in a traditionally French sauce that requires kind of a soft wine that's not too acidic and it's not too forward, the softness of Chardonnay is going to work out really nicely. So I'm gonna bring this up to a boil, adding in one chopped shallot, and then just a little bit of salt and pepper. 
The wine is up to a boil, as you can see from all this steam, and now I'm just gonna let it reduce to about half of what it was before. Now off the heat, I'm gonna whisk in two tablespoons of cold butter until it's thoroughly melted. And then I'm gonna turn the heat on low and whisk in the rest of all this gorgeous butter. I'm pretty sure my fish is done, so we're gonna take it out of the oven. Voila, as they say. That is so fun. I just love how when you take this out of the oven, it looks like a massive cookie, kind of. And you wanna make sure that you remove the fish relatively quickly from its egg white tomb, essentially. So I'm gonna crack this open and we'll take a look. It comes so perfectly away from the fish. You might think that Cooking a fish in this way would make it super salty, but as you can see, the salt doesn't cling to the surface of the fish at all. It just perfectly, gently cooks this fish. So here's our finished fish. It's beautiful. It smells really, really good. I just have some parsley and some lemon wedges to complement our fish along with that beurre blanc, which I'm just about to pour. So when you bring your salt baked fish to the table, definitely you're going to get some oohs and ahs from all the folks who have joined you. And then of course, I'm going to pair this dish with the chardonnay that I used in the sauce. This is a bright, wonderful way to cook fish. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time.